So um, I'm done for the day. Um, so I actually made like a hundred and ninety-seven dollars, but I overtraded and um, I think I lost like ten bucks uh, on the commission. So uh, I took a hundred and six tickets, which is too much, um, and I made a lot of stupid plays. Um, I ignore the piano here because I actually exited my um, IQ uh, swing position at a loss, so I'm uh, minus uh, $180.40 on, on the swing of uh, IQ. Um, and then I entered, you know, down here another position in JNUC. I still have my uh, Bank of America position. It hasn't hit my profit target yet. Um, so that's so. So ignore that because that's how uh, calculate for the piano for today. Um, other than that, let's see what uh, what I've done. Um, oh, and I also exited my position in FNV with a small profit of twenty dollars and sixty cents. That's also a swing, so I'm not gonna talk about that. Twitter. Um, what did I do with Twitter? So I think I lost money. I got stopped out. I think I went short. It popped up. Um, it got stopped out here. I think I was trying to take the opening range breakdown. Um, yes, I did. I took the opening range breakout breakdown. It was below the uh, 200 SMA on the five minute, on the one minute, um, and so I thought I was gonna go down. Um, but I should have waited for this pop because this is, you know, people covering, right? This is not, uh, the, the downtrend continued. This is just people covering their shorts since this is so extended. Um, I should have waited for that given the fact that this was so descended, um, but I chased it, never chased. I chased it and I paid the price. Short again, and then I covered to recover some of that. Um, and then I thought it was going to continue. So I short, I did not cover, uh, which is a big mistake. So that was a 28 cents, should have covered, but instead I got stopped up. Uh, here, did it go long for the Twitter? I did go long, but why did I lose money? Oh, because overall I lost money. Because I went long, I think I made some money, and then I lost some money back on, on, on this side. Um, so. Went long, made money, made money. I think I got freaked out, thought it was gonna drop, and said it popped, so I missed that. Um, it's just a bad day trading overall. Um, and then I lost money, I think, later on over here. Um, yep, lost money, lost kind of like the last few trades. So I thought it was gonna continue to go long, it did, and then it dropped, so I got stopped up. So I lost money on Twitter. Um, Qcom uh, made some pocket change. Uh, I went short. Rationale for that is it's too descended, dropping a little bit of moving averages. Um, and there's a moving average down here along with previous day levels, so I thought it was going to continue to drop. So I went short, covered, and then on the way back up, I covered right before the uh, pop. So. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm proud of myself in the fact that I protected my profits. And then later on, I gave some of that back. Okay, so I went long, I covered, 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 and then I went long and then dropped them in, and um, uh, that's where I had my loss. This is a pretty big drop. So um, I gave back all my profits and then some. So I lost three bucks on that. Uh, so that was QCOM. Uh, pizza. I think pizza I did okay on this actually. I did 124 hours. So I do it. Pizza. Shares. I think I did 1,000 shares. So I saw it drop below these moving averages, um, and then also this was a very um, bearish candlestick. It's, in it, it's um, in it. yeah, so it's a very bearish candlestick. Also, I saw that here on the one minute it couldn't make a new high, five minute could not make a new high, 
and it was descended pretty far away from this moving average. So even if it were to continue an uptrend, it would probably downtrend towards the moving average. So that's 90, 53, 94, uh, 53, that's like 40 cent drop. So, um, I, you know, it, it most likely will drop to this level and inbound. So that's what I did is I short and then I covered on the way down to this level. Um, and then when I made that bounce, I, I covered, uh, you know, to protect my profits. So $124.80. So uh, now I'm talking about PEP. It's just needless trading. Lost money on pegs both times around. I think I took a pretty sizable position, either a thousand or fifteen hundred shares. Um, went short, it didn't really do anything, so I got out, and then I went short again. A uh, reason I went short here is because it's on a downtrend, it's below the moving averages, um, and so I thought I was gonna move down to this level. There's nothing, no resistance whatsoever, um, but I got out, and fortunately. So, because then it just kind of popped up here, um, and then it grinded upwards. Um, and then I took a long position, because I saw that it was above, it's starting to go back up. Uh, it was above these moving averages, so I went long. Um, and then, I get stopped up. Where did I get stopped up? Let's see here. There's a 10.35. So here I went short, uh, dropped below moving averages, and then covered it because it was just bouncing around. Um, I thought it was going to drop because uh, it, it kind of moved down more. Um, so I went in for short again, and then it consolidated. It went above the, the moving average, and then I got stopped up. Uh, let's see, how big is this? It's 20, so it's, it's not that big, but I took a sizable position. I think 1,500 shares. So... Uh, Lost money both ways. That hurts. It's almost two hundred fifty dollars. MU also cost me money. I did it once. MU was not easy to trade today for me. Um, maybe other people uh, caught it when it was good. Um, Ten forty-five around this time. Huge engulfing pattern. Uh, five minute. So I went short because it lost all the moving averages. I thought it was gonna get down to VWAP. Um, it eventually did, but then it popped on me while it was doing that. Um, so I got stopped out. Um, and then I didn't want to mess with it anymore. So I lost 100 bucks on that. Um, also lost money on IQ. Um, I thought I was going to short it, but it was actually pretty... So actually, I went long. Um, so at the lens twenty, I went long. It dropped on me, and I knew that it was gonna hit back the moving average. So I just got stopped out. It's too far away. I took a thousand shares. I didn't want to sit through that. So I stopped myself out, um, and then it sort of continued to trend up. Um, and then I thought I was gonna do a reversal later on. So I think I took a short position. Uh, and then I got stopped out. And then I went long, and then I made s slight amount of money back because it kind of dropped. I didn't want it to continue to go down, especially when I made this sort of a, a double top. But instead, it just, today was a good day for IQ. It kept on uh, going up. And that's another reason why I exited my long position because I don't know if it would just go up a bit and then drop on me or, or whatnot. So I just exit my um, my position in, uh, in IQ today with a... $180 loss. Um, Gilead, another unfortunate trade. Went long, covered. That was good. It dropped. And again, Gilead was another trending trade. It's trending higher. Uh, I shorted it because I saw that it couldn't make a new 5-minute high. Uh, maybe I'll test the VWAP. I thought it was going to continue to go up because it's a very strong stock today. But instead, um, it popped up on me and so I lost money. And Fossil was good to me today. So, as you can see, I made a lot of money on Fossil and um, Delta Airlines. But my losses 
prevented me from making a lot of money. So minimize trades, be more cognizant of what's going on. Um, that would have helped me tremendously today. Uh, but fundamentals kind of kept my losses at a super minimum. Um, and so that, I think that's the only good takeaway. But uh, here above the moving averages, and then also I saw that this double bottom. So it was gonna, it's due for a reversal, right? All day it was selling off. Um, and so once it went above, it finished the consolidation. So this is kind of like an ABCD pattern. And then it moved up uh, above the moving averages, a thousand shares, and then, oh no, I think 500 at this point, and then I closed on the way up. Um, and then, uh, I don't know if I thought it was gonna test VWeb or not, I just didn't wait around to for that to happen. Um, but then when it dropped, and then it formed oh, another, another double, double bottom, bottom over, over here. here. Um, has, has not, not tested VWeb yet, yet, and, and then, then it's, it's uh, higher lows, um, higher highs, highs. So, so, as you can, can see, see, this is here, this double, double bottom is here. So, so I, I knew it was going to have to be it's due for that. So, it went in um, 1,000 shares this time. Uh, and then as it went up, I started to close my position up towards the, um, this, this moving average share. Um, so, yep, uh, that was good. Uh, that was, that was, good. was a very good trade in the open. I over-traded it later on. Um, so, so opening range breakdown, break down. Uh, I went short, it didn't happen, so I, stopped, I got stopped out. So here, went short, 500 shares, it pulled back up above the UF, I got stopped out right at the UF, so proud of myself for, for a tight stop loss. Went up, started to sell off again, and then once it hit the moving average, um, and it showed signs it was gonna go below it, I went short, um, my stop would probably be up here, um, and, I, I just kept closing towards the previous day level. I kind of stopped here uh, because I didn't know if it was going to bounce back up or not. Um, but it did not. So it consolidated around this area and then it fell again. I, and then I waited for the consolidation. So the bear flag, A, B, C, D. Uh, and then once it dropped below this uh, previous day level, I felt confident that it was going to continue to go down. So I went short again and then I covered again uh, at the consolidation period pretty much. Um, so, and then it, it, and then it did a reversal. I hate myself for missing this reversal. This would have been really nice. Uh, but I was busy losing money, so, um, so I didn't catch it. But then I caught this other reversal, which isn't as nice. Um, when it went up, uh, could not make a new high, popped above this low. Um, so, and then it kind of tried again, so I watched it. I saw it try, it didn't even, got close, didn't even get close to it, so I knew it was going to drop, especially since the, um, if you look here, the moving average is down here, so like I said, it's going to fall back towards the moving average. So I went short, covered, covered, um, and then that was that, 1055. So yeah, that's what I did. One minute, it looks pretty nice too, on the one minute. So consolidate, and then drop. Uh, then I overtraded it here, uh, thought it was going to continue, dropped below view up, thought it was going to continue to go down. Instead, it actually was a pretty strong stock, so it moved back up. Um, and then when I saw it drop below view up again, um, I went short again, covered, covered, and then when it came back up, I covered. Um, and then there's this big squeeze back up above you app. So I'm uh, glad I was out again, protecting my profit, so um, proud of that. Um, so let's talk about Baba. Uh, Baba was, I don't want to say anything about Baba, but sometimes uh, if I say it, it would do the opposite. So I went short on Baba. I went short and I saw that it dropped below the moving average. It was consolidating. Could not make a new high, um, like around at this level. Uh, it kept hitting the ceiling. Uh, so I thought once it breaks this, it's going to go down and test the um, simple moving average and then test the viewer. Uh, it did not. It actually popped back up a bit, so I got stopped out. Um, it's 400 shares. Uh, later on, after it popped up, um, could, not, could not make a new high, it started to drop again. 
I saw that this is a very big bearish candlestick. Um, also, it seemed like it was going to drop below this level since it's so bearish. Um, my bet was that it will. So I went short, um, and then all the way down towards the previous day level, I uh, closed, and then on the pop back up, I exited my position. Um, again, it, it continued to go down, and then it actually hit, and then surpassed view app. Um, but I wasn't going to wait to see if it would just go back up. Uh, the other thing I could have done was probably wait until I test this level once it formed this indecision and then have, uh, and then you start to have this large um, kind of like an engulfing uh, pattern. Um, I could have entered here uh, or here again for the drop. Um, 59, oh actually no, it may not, oh 59, 30. yeah I could have but might not be so good because there's this level here, now, you don't know if this level will be a good support level, which it kind of did, it bounced back up around it for a bit, so actually not playing it is, is, is pretty good, so then I waited for it um, to go below VWAP, better entry would be right here, uh, right at uh, VWAP, but either way, um, I took it short and then I covered it on the way down to the moving average and then it started to bounce off the moving average. Um, and I think that was it. I, I didn't trade Bob anymore after that. So, um, as you can see, if you just look at the profit side of things, I did pretty well. Um, it's over trading that, uh, that, that gets me. So, uh, 100 tickets is too much. I like to keep it, you know, at around 40 to 60 will be my ideal. Um, otherwise, I'm just working for uh, for the brokerage, basically, and paying on the commission. So uh, that's it. Um, that's it for me today. Um, I did exit IQ, so which is good. Now I can put that capital to to better use elsewhere. Um, and we'll we'll go from there. We'll see what uh, how Bank of America and JNAC, um how well they'll do.